What is up guys, long time no see, but I'm back. Steven Womack with another Instagram tutorial. Today we wanna to talk about this one right here. You requested it a lot, it's that stop motion. So it's kind of like a picture, but some parts of the picture are moving. So it's kind of a mix between a video and a picture. I think it's a really exciting effect and I'm really grateful that you guys asked for it. Now Samra, a German rapper, posted this post yesterday and since then you have been DMing me on Instagram asking for this uh, specific look. So I got to work and I found out quickly how to recreate this animated moving picture where the smoke is moving. You can of course also make other parts of your picture move. For example, if you're in the water and you took a picture in the water, you wanna make the water around you move. So it's really interesting, it's cool to use and there's an app called Story Z and it's linked under this video as well. I'm not sponsored or anything. It's an app that enables you to create this with your mobile phone only from pictures that you've already taken. The cool thing about this is that the free version is enough to create this effect. And I will show you exactly how to do this right now. Now I've also created a huge preset pack for all of you guys who are interested in also editing the color tones of your pictures to make them look really great. And in that all presets pack, there are over 100 presets that you could just easily paste to every one of your pictures inspired by celebrities rappers influencers so make sure to check that out link is also under this video it's that all presets pack and it's for the free lightroom app and every time I create new presets they're automatically in that all presets pack as well so you just have to pay it once and you'll get new presets on a weekly basis but today we want to talk about that story Z app and of course if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. And if you have any requests, new ideas like this one um, that I got today, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm always open for conversation. Now I've said enough, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing you will want to do, of course, is um, open your picture that you want to edit in that Story Z app right here. So we open up the Story Z app right here, then we hit the plus on the bottom and now you want to choose that ripple um, on the upper left side that ripple effect right there and now you can choose the image that you want to edit now in this case i've um, selected this one right here of Wiz Khalifa because it comes super close and smoke is always a cool element in the picture to create this effect as in the Samra look that we're going for. So now here you can crop it if you want to. I don't want to so we go on and now you see motion on the bottom left that um, curvy arrow that we've selected and now you just want to press on where the smoke is and then just hold it down and just move your finger along the smoke to where you want it to move, create maybe three lines right here. And now if we hit play on the bottom right side, we can see that the whole image kind of moves, which is a little too much. So we hit pause again. And now you can go to pin right here. And now just click every part of the image that you don't want to move. So in this case, actually everything except for the smoke. So maybe this around here is good right there just click around and then we hit play again and now you can see the smoke only is moving now his glasses are kind of affected so we want to again pin those a little bit here hit play again and now that's way better we're not all the way done yet now the next thing we can do is go over here and select mask and now we want to choose every area again that is not going to move um, this will really make sure that it's going to stay stable. So up to the hand right here, all the way up to where the smoke is. We want the face to stay as it is right there, maybe like this. Now we hit play again, and now you can see that only the smoke is moving, which looks absolutely cool. Now up here, we can hit that um, box with the arrow to export it. Now we can choose the quality, but we just want to export it. The duration, we can choose that as well. And now it's exporting right here. And now we can save it on the left here. And you see that Story Z logo on the bottom right side. This will be in the image since it's not the premium version, since it's the free version that we're using. But later, when we upload that on Instagram, we can easily just crop that out. So we save it right there, and then it should be in our camera roll. 
And that's it guys, here are the edits that I made. I've also made one of the shoot that I did with Altin when he was here in Barcelona. So you can also see it's not only working for celebrities or things like that, it's also really working with your images that you've took or the ones that I've took. And I think it's a cool tool. Once again, thank you guys for your inspiration, for getting me to the point where I researched this and I found this. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. Hope you're happy, hope you like this tutorial. And once again, if you also wanna add colors or edit your images from a color perspective in the Free Lightroom app, I've created this all presets pack for you with over 100 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And the cool thing about this all presets pack is that it's growing on a weekly basis. Every time I create new presets, they're automatically in the pack buy it once and get new presets every week. I think it's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. And of course, the link to the app that we used in this tutorial, Story Z, is also under this video. And if there's anything else you need from me, always feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle. And of course, if you haven't already, also make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future tutorials because it could be one of your requests. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.